Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls for Dummies. My name is Drago and today I'm taking a little detour from my journey. Um, I was at the dumps before, I was kind of doing some farming, upgraded my equipment, did some co-op, uh, upgraded my armor to plus 7, upgraded my divine mace to plus 5, and before I take on a gaping dragon and go into uh, Blight Town, decided to go ahead and uh, take on a stray demon and uh, return to the Undead Asylum and uh, get the Rusted Iron Ring, we make a traversing Blight Town a little bit uh, easier in terms of uh, in terms of I guess just uh, the walking uh, walking pace through the through the swamp so I'm still pretty low level I uh, I went up to level 21 currently I put some points into faith uh, just so I can throw some lightning spears and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see here. Right, so gonna... I usually like taking on stray demons before I go into Seth's fortress just so I have the I have the peculiar doll uh, where I can uh, access the painted world of uh, Arianus anytime I please. So I don't have to go back to specifically take that. And the thing about Stray Demon is that he's a pretty easy boss if you know the move set uh, and if you if you know the moves. Um, he does that big big ass uh, butt stomp. Um, pretty much most of the time. When you first drop in, the best way I found to take on him is to just run straight at him. Uh, let's see if it'll work this time. I'll probably have to shed some gear just so I can fast roll, which is no big deal. But maybe I can even do the medium roll. <coughs> we'll, see, we'll, we'll see how it plays out, I guess. So. Oh, and here I am, back where it all started. Alright, and welcome to the Northern Undead Asylum. I believe this is episode 6. Uh, I might just go ahead and uh, run to the depths after that and take on the dragon right away. We'll see how, how effectively I'll be able to dispatch him if at all. Uh, I gotta watch out for these guys. They can do quite a bit of damage with a, by a run and torch attack as you can tell. But not as much of a worry for me right now since I I have my equipment as upgraded as it can possibly get at the moment to plus seven. So I might and I might actually go ahead and try to upgrade this armor to plus ten. Really like the look of it. One of my favorite armors in the game. Really kinda sucks that it's heavy. And you can't really fast roll this equipment unless you have like Ring of Favor and Protection and Havel Ring are really high endurance, but it is what it is. So, I'll go ahead and just light this just in case. Rest here. And these guys respawn, so have to kill them again. Get off. Alright. Now moving on. Yeah, sorry I haven't uploaded uh, any gameplay recently. Uh, I've been super busy with work. So, hope you guys forgive me on that. Uh, I'm gonna also be uploading some Call of Duty soon. Ooh. And I barely survived that. If I would not have upgraded my shit, I probably would be dead. So, usually I'm at this point. If I get hit once, usually at this low of a level. And 
to see how much damage. The Lightning Spear right now is actually my, my best weapon. Uh, this dude is fairly resistant to uh, magic attack, so... And I believe this move right here it does, uh, I want to say, magic damage, not the fire damage. So a lot of people say fire, but actually if you put uh, Great Magic Barrier and Magic Barrier on, uh, it will reduce the damage that this uh, staff and the butt stomp attack inflict. So uh, I recommend that if you got it. And it works uh, same for the Fire Sage Demon. It'd be quite effective against him. last part here is going to take a little bit. You can actually beat him with the, with the Drake Sword even. He's not too tough. The only thing that changes the band equipment is how long it takes to actually kill him. As you can see right here, I'm just doing chip damage to him. So. If you do get hit by him, he hits pretty hard, so watch out for that. I'll go ahead and get that nice lab. I, I did purchase some uh, stuff from the from Xena Merchant. Uh, th these Black Knights right here can actually give you some trouble. Uh, they're quite a bit tougher than the Knights that you meet at the uh, Undead Burke and Undead Parish, so watch out for that. Uh, they'll need a lot more punishment to be taken down. Uh, you can easily just parry them. Uh, their attacks uh, parry quite easily. Uh, not by me, apparently. I was able to get that first one, but then they got me here. And... Uh, And here's the doll, clear doll. And all I gotta get is the rusted iron ring, and I also I'll probably also get the crest shield as well. Comes in handy, and I will have to fight uh, Oscar of a store anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and relieve him of his shield. See if I have the shortcut open. I do. Fucking awesome. And let's see what you got. Ooh. Parry him. And you can parry him quite easily. Uh, he wields the Astora Straight Sword, which is kind of a crappy weapon. Bro. Bam. Just like that. And you get the crest shield. Pretty useful shield. And watch out for this trap. Ooh, still nick me. Always miss time these attacks. It's kind of annoying. I'll always get me that, but whatever. Yeah, these guys are pretty easy. 
this point. They don't really gain any extra damage. Carried. And here's the item that we came here for. I don't know if you guys uh, read the Edge article on Dark Souls 2. Uh, there's some pretty decent info in there. Although they do, good, they also do a good job of kind of keeping you in the dark about the gameplay elements. I guess that's to be expected since the game just got announced and from what it sounds like, uh, the game is 25% complete. Uh, they did have some interesting info uh, regarding uh, what they mean by saying that uh, the game will be more accessible. Uh, and uh, what they mean by that is that, um, from the words of uh, Shibuya, who is the new game director, uh, they want to make the game uh, a little bit limited in the beginning for newer players um, to kind of, I guess, limit the choices that people have early on uh, and make the game easier to understand. Which is fine. I think uh, when that turns out, I don't think it will take anything away from the difficulty of the game. But I think it will. Uh, I'm, well, I'm not signed in for some reason. Okay. Well, anyway, I I think I feel that uh, probably be. I don't want to say I don't want to say it will impact the difficulty, but. Making the story easier to understand and uh, uh, making player more involved in the storyline, I think it will, you know, uh, increase the enjoyment of the game for a lot of newer players. Uh, one of the main problems people had with uh, Dark Souls storyline is that outside of the opening cinematic, there wasn't really a whole lot of information you get about, you know, the characters, the bosses, and that's fine. Uh, but at the same time, you you know, since the opening cinematic happens years and years before the events of the game, you really don't have a good grip of who the characters are. Uh, I mean, like uh, Grave Lord Nito, I think it would be pretty cool to learn a little bit more about these characters. So, I don't know, that's just my take on that. Uh, make you more invested in the storyline. Uh, I do, I do like what they had, what they have going in Dark Souls with the item description, kind of letting the player uh, know a bit more detail in the story. Uh, that's a really cool element. I don't want them to do away with that, but uh, they can s make that uh, the case for kind of uh, storyline and lore about the supporting characters and some of the side quest elements. Um, for example, like it would be cool to find out, you know, or uh, have a hint of who Knight Solaire is based on the based on the item descriptions. But at the same time, you know, like the main story between uh, Lord Gwyn, uh, the Primordial Serpents, uh, Gwendolyn, and Anne Orlando, uh, stuff like that. It would be it would be nice to know that just uh, uh, from the from the game, you know, letting you know, like making the dialogue a little bit more accessible to the point where you know it's not like triggered by certain events where a lot of people miss the dialogue just because they didn't they did something you know ahead of ahead of a scripted event or they didn't get the scripted event. So I see me getting some. Uh, well, I should probably get the night chunk here as well. Uh, if you drop if you drop the moss items, uh, such as the blood red moss clump or purple or blooming purple moss clump, you get the 
Twinkle and Titanite, and uh, dropping Rubbish gets you Titanite Chunk. I used up my four Titanite Chunks and upgraded my armor a little bit. Uh, I st I, at this point, there's uh, really nothing else that I would spend them on because I don't have the uh, very large amber from my new Lando ruins, which I'm gonna get before I go to Sense Fortress, and I'm gonna probably uh, mine uh, some of those dark reefs for chunks and slabs. See if I can upgrade my armor to plus 10 before I venture into Anor Lando, um, and see if I can have a plus 15 weapon with me as well. I still haven't decided if I want to do a strength faith or a uh, dexterity faith or a 100% uh, uh, faith playthrough. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm gonna go ahead. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and take on the uh, gaping dragon now. Lost my head there for a moment. I already did a majority of uh, the walkthrough through the depths. Uh, I killed the large red, I killed the, uh, see here, I killed the uh, Kirk, Captain Kirk, Captain of the Dark Race. <laughs> Actually, no, the thing about Knight Kirk is that he was, uh, I guess, a high ranking, perhaps a high ranking member of the Dark Race. Uh, you meet him three times throughout the game. First time is in the depths, the second time is in the demon ruins, and the third and final time is in the lost isolate. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll probably end up buying a Persian stone here just in case I got good first. My cursed resist is not very high at all. Uh, probably get cursed very easily. So uh, the only thing for me to get in that area of the depths really is the evil eye ring, uh, which is pretty useless anyway. So I, I think I'm just gonna skip that part of the depths. And just go straight for the Gaping Dragon right now. But we'll see. Don't wanna spend too much time and definitely don't wanna die towards the, towards the end of my uh, chapter here. Another thing about the stats for this is I'm thinking I might uh, get him up to the point where I can use Grant. Let's see how that will work. So I'll maybe have something like uh, 36, uh, 34, I think it's 34 strength that you need and 30 faith. 
So I think I might just do that. And go the strength route. Um, I've only made one strength strength faith built in this game. Uh, actually, yeah, that was and that was my only strength build. So I think I might go that route. Kind of do uh, medium rolling, knight armor wearing, grant wielding, strength faith build. Yeah, and then have a large club as my backup weapon, or I don't know. Kind of uh, I like the knight weapons. Here I get raped by the slime, the slime ball right here. Oh, damn. That was not as smooth as I was hoping. If I would have put on the rusted iron ring, I would be able to avoid that, but since my dumbass decided not to do that, I'm dead out pain for that. Chill, buddy. And lightning spears come uh, in handy when you're fighting against uh, these guys. Or if you want to just farm them, that's how I was able to uh, farm for large uh, titanite chunks. I mean, large uh, titanite shards so easily that I uh, upgraded my faith and uh, I was just able to one shot these guys with uh, lightning spears. So. Seven, seven, Let's see if uh, I should probably raise my Dragon Crash Shield a little bit more. I'm not gonna power up this Crash Shield quite yet. Uh, let's see if I can maybe summon someone as well. Don't wanna summon anybody with like really good gear. Yeah, I'll summon this guy, it does not look too, too decked out, he's got the star gear on, he's got the S-Dock, not the S-Dock, the scimitar. Oh. So it's a lot tougher to do live commentary, it's just because I'm not very good at talking and playing in general, let alone uh, talking and uh, knowing that somebody else will actually listen to this. So, I've unlocked the shortcut already. So there's no need for me to go the long route. It's kind of nice how with the upgraded Divine Maze these guys are actually not much of a challenge at all. It's kind of annoying just having to stand there and pound on these suckers. straight for the boss. Probably pick up Knight Solaire also. Uh, although he's kind of useless against the Gaping Dragon. Does a lot of stupid shit like trying to parry his rush move and standing right underneath him when he jumps at you. So. I do want to get his event later on in the game so I can get his armor.
And Gippin Dragon is actually one of the cooler bosses uh, that I've seen in these type of RPGs. So, a yeah, pretty interesting design for the boss, as you can tell. Um, kind of looking forward to seeing how Dark Souls 2 will turn out to supposedly uh, next uh, next gen console ca comparable graphics. Uh, I've read the article on the Edge and I mean they're talking about how next game might implement the weather system, whether the weather will change throughout the game and how there will be different environments such as snow. So it'll be very interesting to see. Dragon King with great axe here. Just okay weapon, I guess. Not very useful for PvP. And I guess there are better weapons for uh, the PvE aspect of it, so. Solaire would uh, just toss some of his lightning spears instead of uh, getting up close and personal with the dragon here and just getting absolutely great. But uh, really do not want to lose them. And by the way, in case you guys did not notice, the, the dragon is pretty tough against any kind of magic attack, so. But I was actually able to keep uh, Knight Solaire alive, which is a pretty good achievement on my part. It is pretty tough because he, uh, he tends to just run in there and get himself destroyed. So up next we're going to go and do Blight Down. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, recording and I'll leave you guys. Uh, till later on this week. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, push the series, uh, continue the series the next couple of days. It depends how busy I'll be at work. But thanks for tuning in guys. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see and uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you.